Hi. So I'm back with the aspects for July 22nd to July 27th, 2015. So I did kind of a rough um, aspect time. I basically uh, skimmed through these days and I didn't do every single moon aspect or whatever, but I did do the ones that were really forming grander patterns that um, I felt were relevant and will be relevant. You know, some of these grander patterns, like the Grand Cross and the Grand Shrine, uh, you know, that I'm talking about here, will be kind of throughout the week. Uh, like different elements will pop up throughout the week. So it's not so uh, cut and dry as July 22nd. You know, it'll be like July 22nd to July 27th. Anyways, <laughs> so on July 22nd, there's a grand trine between, um, well, on in one sign, it's the sun, Mercury, and Mars in Cancer, all together there, and then Saturn and Scorpio and Chiron and Pisces. So during this time, this is really about coming into our uh, awareness about past karma. So past karma has definitely been a theme uh, coming up, especially with Saturn retrograde in Scorpio. And then Chiron and Pisces is all about that as well. So these are all things that are coming up for us collectively. And then the Sun, Mercury, and Mars in Cancer is going to make it more personal and more um, about our families and about our family history and about... Um, you know, the, the influence that our family has had on our personality, our mental processes, and how we assert ourselves in the world. So there could be a lot of emotions that come up about these things and also a need for just really um, being aware, of being aware of these things so that we don't succumb to any uh, subconscious predominations or whatever, uh, like things like where, you know, belief patterns and things where, you know, it would subconsciously influence us. Um, it's important to stay aware of our own emotional states, especially if we're around our family members a lot, um, because that could influence us on some subconscious level that we're not aware of. So it's important to be very aware of what your own thoughts are at this time and your own, um, ideas are and uh, you know who you are. So being very active is a really good idea to help work off a lot of this uh, emotional stuff that's coming up for us. Um, you know, Mars being in Cancer can just, it's good to exercise during this time and be very um, in your body and in your uh, aware state, you know, try not to get too in your head because Mercury could lead to thoughts from the past and thoughts of the past and emotions associated with that. So it's a, it's really important to be very like present right now. And so, I mean, that will help things, uh, smooth along easier when it comes to these, uh, karmic emotional feelings and such, um, karmic patterns and whatnot. Uh, especially, you know, being around people who, you know, have that influence on you, like your family. Uh, so, yeah. And then there's a Grand Cross also on July 22nd between the Moon in Libra, Mars in Cancer, Uranus in Aries, and Pluto in Capricorn. So, by the way, this is uh, with a 7-degree orb and the other one's with a 10-degree orb between at least a uh, couple of the planets there. So anyways, uh, Moon in Libra is going to put a focus on partnership and our relationships and people in one-on-one -on -one situations and even could be about open enemies. And ultimately, it's focused on the other people in our lives. Mars in Cancer could be bringing up some amount of wanting to really just go within yourself a little more and you might be a bit more defensive about your own emotions and maybe even a bit more selfish about your emotions at this time and this could cause some rifts in your relationships 
And so it's definitely, you know, like I said earlier with Mars and Cancer, it's a good, to, good idea to exercise so that you aren't building up any like frustration of sorts, especially around emotions. So like just getting out and doing more activities can help you to get out of any stagnant energies that might be, you know, coming up for you. And then Uranus and Aries and Pluto and Capricorn, of course, are a part of this grand cross. Um, so Uranus and Aries is all about really coming into yourself, your sense of uh, who you are and who you want to become. And it's all about being the idea of like being the change, you know, that kind of thing, being like that and into your higher self and uh, being very self-aware and insightful within yourself. Like insights might come to you by being more yourself. So, I mean, it could be like a process of um, insights about who you are and then being yourself and then like more insights come to you as you be yourself or like following those intuitive uh, nudgings that you might have about who you want to become. And then as you become that, then more unfolding will occur is kind of how I'm like thinking about it right now. And then Pluto and Capricorn, of course, is <laughs> like making a huge change in our collective um, about like how we do business and how we portray ourselves in the world. And it's also um, a theme that I've been noticing uh, as well is about bringing your own transformation into the world so that it's available to others. So. I mean, I've just been seeing that theme a lot lately and maybe even utilizing your own transformation as a business model. That's that's been a huge thing that I've been seeing lately. So taking your own uh, darkest places, trying to come out of those darkest places and helping to uh, transform others by transforming yourself. On July 26th, a kite is formed with the moon in Sagittarius, the sun in Leo, and the south node in Aries creating a grand trine, and the north node in Libra opposing the south node and sextiling the sun and the moon. So this is awesome for really um, being in touch with who you are and what you believe in and the parts of yourself and also becoming aware of the parts of yourself that are very egotistical and that may be causing you to be um, less than your best. So it's good for becoming aware of the parts in yourself that are preventing you from being able to connect with others and also preventing you from being able to connect with yourself. So it's awesome for really being in touch with yourself on this day, your emotions, your personality, and even your creativity. And so the best expression of this is to actually be more self-aware and then to uh, be able to share um, what you know with others and being more creative with like how you share with others and being more in harmony with others and like more in harmony with yourself. And when you're more in harmony with yourself, it is easier to be in harmony with others. And then on July 27th, Pluto and Capricorn sextiles Neptune and Pisces, and they both in conjunct Mercury and Leo creating a yod. So this during this time, it's going to be easier to get in touch with the deeper aspects of who you are and what that really means. And also deeper aspects of spirituality and the collective feelings that we are feeling. And there's also an ability to get in touch with the, um, the realm of like the uh, collective, uh, like unconscious, but also uh, what the feelings of love are and the general feeling of love that binds us, you know, and being more in alignment with that sense of spirit and that sense of love 
when it comes to our careers and to what we want to be in the world and to our status in life. So being more in touch with our deeper selves can help us to really grow and transform in the area of our careers. So that's been like a huge thing is just really coming into what our ideals are and then trying to manifest them into reality in a way that makes sense for right now. Because it's not easy to just uproot everything and then, um, you know, start from scratch. It's actually kind of more of an implement, like an implementation process of um, just starting with yourself and starting with where you're at now, rather than kind of a entire like crumbling of society itself. That's not likely to occur. And it's probably way worse if that happens, honestly, like way more destruction, way more chaos. I, you know, in my opinion, like starting from a more spiritual place and then like growing yourself and what you would like to see in the world, that's actually a more peaceful and more viable approach, especially with the internet these days. And with them both in conjunct Mercury and Leo, I mean, it really is about expressing yourself, expressing these things, expressing that in conversation, in, you know, on the internet or whatever, but being very creative in your communication about these things, like um, by getting in touch with those deeper aspects of yourself, you can really get in touch with your creativity and be able to write these things in a way that makes sense for people and that makes sense uh, for helping them to transform even like writing like materials that are really getting to the core of what is occurring, you know, on these levels occurring in the spiritual sense occurring in your uh, transformation and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, the struggle, of course, is overcoming our own egos so that we can just express ourselves without feeling blocked by our ego because, you know, there is that aspect as well. And then a grand trine is formed between the moon and Sagittarius, Uranus and Aries and Jupiter and Leo with a six degree orb on July 27th as well. So some major insights and expansive ideas could really come in during this day and getting in touch with good feelings within yourself, good feelings and, um, you know, positivity, optimism, getting in touch with yourself in a very positive way and feeling really good, um, can help you to really expand upon your joy and your insights because those things all kind of go hand in hand. If you're having a good time and you're like, uh, just getting into the thick of uh, the moment, getting into the moment and enjoying yourself, then more insights do come in and uh, more expansion comes in and just uh, new ideas will likely come in as well. So yeah, that's it for this uh, time frame. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon.